I personally am transfixed by the new idea. I love the idea that we can do an experiment that's never been done before in the history of the world. Even if it's a small thing, the idea that today we did something that no one's ever done before and who knows what that's going to lead to. My name is Andrew Goldstein and I'm an assistant professor in the Molecular Cell and Developmental Biology Department at the University of California, Los Angeles. I came from a family where hockey, ice hockey was celebrated. My dad's from Canada, came to the U.S. to play in college. So we all grew up playing ice hockey and um, that was our main sport. And then my older siblings started playing lacrosse in high school. So I picked that up and I was a two-time Division I All-American at Dartmouth College and then I got drafted to play professional lacrosse. And luckily, professional lacrosse at that time was uh, games were on the weekends. So I was working in a lab at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston, Monday through Friday, and then I played professional lacrosse on the weekends. Being a great scientist is a lot like being a great athlete, especially on a team sport. As an athlete, you learn to be persistent, you learn to practice, and you learn that even when things aren't going well, there are small things you can do to help your team. And I think that's really important as a scientist. Not every day, every experiment is gonna work out, but there's little things you can be doing to improve and to be learning and growing that when things do line up, then it's really gonna help you out. So every organ in our body serves its normal function to keep us healthy. And sometimes things go wrong and disease develops. And so we try to understand how normal, healthy cells can get screwed up and turn into cancer. Working in the lab is not always an easy experience. A lot of experiments don't work out. A lot of days can be very challenging because you have a hypothesis and it's not always uh, seen out in the experiments. But in, a, you know, in the future, your drugs are gonna be based on the research that we're doing now. Every therapy that's saving lives right now started with an experiment with a pipette, with a mouse, with some sort of thing at the lab bench. And we're desperately trying to move our new ideas forward into the clinic. And so the investment in research, that leads right to new therapies and to saving patients' lives.